Five explosions in 19 days, and tonight a former ATF agent in charge is telling the CBS 11 I team this may not be the work of a single serial bomber. Hundreds of local, state, and federal law enforcement officers right now scrambling for answers as this bombing investigation expands just outside and around Austin. This latest blast happening at a FedEx facility in shirts outside of San Antonio. We have a team of reporters covering this story, starting with our Jason Allen live in shirts tonight. Jason. And I want to get you some new information, Kayla, that we just had in here in the last few minutes, that the uh, chairman of the U.S. House Homeland Security Committee, that's Congressman Michael McCall, is now saying that he's been briefed on the situation here and saying that investigators may have now obtained some security video that might show the bomber. So another piece of information. Now, this investigation was never supposed to lead here to the shirts area. Police saying today that they believe this package was supposed to be headed back toward Austin. But when it exploded here, it really opened up a new area of investigation and opened up a technique, showed the police that the bomber was using a will, willing to use a technique that just a week ago police said he was not using. Now, the investigation here today has been somewhat different than the first four bombs we saw in Austin. To start, after it exploded at 12.30 in the morning, federal agents and state bomb teams, they were here within a few hours. And instead of needing to secure a neighborhood and homes, they were able to evacuate employees and start going through the evidence that they found here right away. And because this package passed through FedEx screeners, the company was also quickly able to tell investigators this, quote, that the individual responsible also shipped a second package that has now been secured and turned over to law enforcement. We have um, agents from across the country. We have our, our national response team here. We got uh, canine explosive detection, detection canines here. Uh, we have intel research specialists. Uh, we're working hand in hand with our FBI partners, state and local partners. We have we've been working uh, round the clock. The ATF was trying to assure people with that statement that it is doing everything it can here to try to track down the bomber. Now, unlike previous bombs, when police were very open about how they thought that the bomb detonated, whether through movement or a trigger, investigators here today were not willing to discuss how they thought this bomb here at this facility may have exploded. We're live tonight in shirts. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. All right, Jason, thank you for that. An Austin area congressman says a suspicious package found inside a southeast Austin FedEx shipping center was a bomb. That's word from U.S. Representative Lloyd Doggett to the Austin American statesman just minutes ago. That would increase the number of homemade or packaged bombs planted or mailed around the Austin area this month to six. FedEx says the package was mailed by the same sender whose other package exploded on a conveyor belt at the FedEx facility in Shirts, where Jason was just reporting from. Authorities kept the Austin facility locked down all day, and employees were sent home. I'm thankful that I'm here because, like I said, if I loaded up that truck, I had to be, oh, hopefully I'm not dead or in the hospital, and then what's left of me now just because of a job. Right now, we know that Austin police will not confirm or deny reports that package was blown up as a precaution by its explosives ordinance unit.